Hi, that's really inspiring. That's the future. No more the future. So I'm going to tell you just what we do and why I really think that openness and the team is the key. So this is our first logo. In October 2010, we started in Argentina, in Buenos Aires, without, um, without an access to, of information law. We only had a degree. And with a lot of skepticism from our board inside La Nación. La Nación is now uh, has 150 years old this year. So we are celebrating La Nación's 150 years. And we have a place there because online we have like 25 years more and data journalism 10 years. So we are happy that we could do that. So the team, well, we are 10, we are 80% women. And uh, the half, uh, half of, the, um, of the team is uh, technical and the other are journalists that are interested in data. So they are always learning to analyze data, to uh, learn new tools. We do webinars, we do everything self-taught that we find and we follow all the trends and we ask for FOIA requests and everything. So we say that we do open data journalism. It's not that we only use open data, it's that we open the data that we use. So when we struggle with a lot of PDFs and everything, we open it. And we work internally with every section in, in the newsroom by projects. And, uh, and we work a lot in open collaboration with, oh, a lot, uh, with NGOs and, and the audience. And also we produce, we have produced our own events that we call Data Fest, that for years, uh, we, we, there in the data fest, we, we have um, the government that produces data when they want to show the data sets. Also, the, the, an engineering um, university and a journalism university and open to everyone. It's about, it was about 900 people in the data fest in the last one. And the women in data science, uh, we, we belong to the local uh, community of women in data science. So. Really, our team is bigger. If you open, you have a lot of superpower. <laughs> we have volunteers, and now I'm going to tell you some of our projects. One of our projects, so this is about how sometimes you think innovation. Innovation is in the other end, like you just saw in technology, in, in science, and also in the in the very thing that you, th you say, nobody is going to do this. We typed everything here, also with volunteers. These are eight uh, notebooks that in a, the, the most, uh, the, the scandal of corruption larger in Argentina that a driver gave to one of our journalists, notebooks in which he wrote from where to where there were bags of cash from a minister going to uh, some other um, public servants. So after that, there were a lot of people in jail process and everything. We did this, we structured all this information. So then we have knowledge from that notebooks like this. Then we do visualizations and uh, this is another case in which we heard, we, we built a platform in which a collaborative platform in which volunteers, universities, NGOs, and our team heard a 40,000 audios of hearings of a, um, in an investigation where a prosecutor was killed and he was investigating this. So then we made a playlist with the, with the results we also try to do data with everything and also to, to be very productive in terms of automatization so we have lower cost of production. 
So this is information in every um, soccer um, soccer play uh, every weekend. This is from Opta. Opta is the data, but we do the visualization and we, we make three articles per each of uh, the games of soccer play. Now we are doing the international, the Spanish, the uh, English, I think, leagues, um, and the local, the other levels that we, we cannot cover with the journalists because this is all the, the structured information. Also we use like sources like marine traffic that when it was uh, the drone of the uh, submarine Ara San Juan, we started following the little boats there and, and we did this visualization. We have a, an award for breaking news because of this. Also we do open source, we uh, use open source from others. This is from NPR. We reuse it three times. We, we, really, we really want to think like the, the, the journalism must be sustainable and also we, if you think data journalism or having developers in the newsroom is, is very expensive and you have to justify. So we have to do reuse, reusable things and also things that like bring a new model of business model. So for example, in these ones we sold the museum ones and uh, another, we did another for tourism from sh short uh, trips of tourism and of books, or all the critics in, in La Nación. Also, we do a lot of monitoring in the uh, in more than 100 official pages. In Argentina, we have a lot of story of page, uh, documents that disappear, or also uh, information that is not, um, is questioned, that is not act accurate, so it's corrected after it's published and so on. So we like to download and save the data. And uh, so we do scraping and downloading of data to save it um, daily. Also, well, we use these data to automatize uh, platforms like uh, how they vote, how the, leg the legislators vote. And we have these platforms, so every law uh, that is passed, we we can we put this embed these uh, results in the in the in the article. Uh, we use open data from the city. Sometimes you think this is not a super story or whatever, but we do use this data because it's like, I think we, it's an investment for the future. And if you don't use it, it's no sense at all. So. We use it, sometimes we work on it, we clean it, we normalize it, mm -hmm. then we open it. And then they, in, in, inside La Nación, some, some people say, why do all this effort? It's because we think others then can do another thing with this, but if they, and also make it an enhancement with this uh, data that we open. So this is a, the census of trees in Buenos Aires. This is, I think it's, one of our hits, and it's just the census of trees. Because when they go uh, with flowers, we do the story of the jacarandas, for example, or the others that they have different uh, uh, flowers. And also, there is the subway data. In the subway data, we analyze that the, the rush hours were not the rush hours, that it, they were officially ones. So we demonstrate it there with the data. Um, this is a site in which every price of every product in 2,000 retail supermarkets in all the country is published. So with this, we, uh, we made three times a FOIA request to ask for all the database that is very large, very big. But they, the government said, no, no, you have to use whatever is published. That there is published data. So we only can see the, the data of today, we said. We need the, all the history of the data to analyze. No, no, you have to, do the, you have to use it, the, the, the only the data that is published. So we decided to download it, I mean, automatize it. And we built our own uh, changuito, it's called like the supermarket um, uh, car, I don't know, which you put all the, in the basket, you put all the products, and, uh, and you can make your own uh, supermarket price. You can follow it with different products. And also we, we build something for the journalists to, to add products 
so they can they can study and follow different in indexes. Um, also, uh, we think about the, the, well, in the crisis in Argentina, we have a lot of devaluation. So this is a currency uh, from the central bank. We we do three articles per per day for dollar and three per uh, for euro uh, with this data. So and also we make this visualization. We use Tableau here in this case, but we also do visualizations in JavaScript. But then we publish the articles automatically. And uh, also we use a lot of tools, free tools, um, small PDF, Excel spreadsheet, open refine, table capture, to transform data and during the day. So we go to the meeting in the morning with the journalists and sometimes these things, oh, we have the data, but it's in PDF. Well, we do it, we solve it this way when we don't uh, have the automatization. And for visualization, also a message is there are so beautiful, many, many beautiful tools, Flourish, uh, Tableau, Data Wrapper. Well, you have a lot of, of them to, to try for free. Uh, we, we, um, we also use Google Data Studio to analyze, to connect with uh, CrowdTangle data to, to study all our social media and follow not only ours, but to produce content for the newsroom. You can follow accounts from different um, politicians or whatever, we did this for the candidates, uh, the candidates in Argentina for elections. And also using Google Trends uh, data with the help of Google Trends here, Kayla. <laughs> uh, then we could build this visualization and how they were, uh, how people in, in all the country and in the cities were looking for, main cities, were looking for the candidates uh, in Argentina. Also, we do another visualizations, but that the data visualizations uh, team like to do these 3D things. Well, and so what is next now? We are really focused in trying to understand how to help uh, join journalism with artificial intelligence. And I think we have, I mean, journalism must, must be, it's not so far away, it's closer in pieces, it's getting closer and more accessible, not so that you have to be a super scientist. So developers must help to translate in the middle and start with different small things. We are starting with this these three big concepts. One is about monitoring algorithms, to monitor algorithms uh, from, from the government that are making decisions that may affect us as citizens. We are um, looking for public records or asking for information, but we are not focused now in this one. We are more focused in the de development and delivery of content. Uh, productivity and uh, production and distribution like images or translating video to text and, and, and other things. So this, all these things about data science and machine learning, you don't have to panic. You have also, you have uh, tools and also here is a, a, a workshop that from Knight Foundation that is now open. So we are, four of us are, have already um, it's $90 you have to pay, but it's worth it. Uh, then another thing is we, we want to focus a lot in the, in the future, and we look a lot of, for our subscribers. La Nación has already 250,000 digital subscribers. And we are making this, now we are teaching in the uh, Technology University in Buenos Aires. Uh, in, the, in, in, in a data analytics career. And we are like making this la data lab with using public information in class and then bringing the students to our data team, integrating them to the business intelligence people because we as data in the newsroom, we don't have all business intelligence people, we have data and developers. So we all together look to a, to a situation, to a data set, and 
how can we add value or analyze it. Um, also with journalists, a specialized journalist. And in this new project, we uh, think we have learned so much and heard so much about digital media all these years. It's not only data journalism. So how, why don't we just, as we did with transparency in Argentina, why don't we focus in another strong value that has, that is very interesting to, to as, a, as a challenge, that is nature, climate change, and everything that has to do with environment and ecosystems, that has a new paradigm, to, that has a lot, of, a lot of metrics and a lot of evidence and scientific evidence and a lot of participation. And in the middle there are budgets, there are laws, there are many things. So we must understand and tell the story in a different way. We are starting doing this dashboards for nature, numbers for nature. We are making a proactive agenda month by month to cover all this in three different parts, biodiversity, climate change, and participation around this, because participation is great. I mean, people doing things. So uh, also we are, well, we have, we have already participated in, in Columbia University's network covered in climate now, we have more than, there were more than 300 media in all the world doing, covering the climate change um, uh, event. I think they are going to do it now again with the COP25 in Madrid. And we are going to be again. And here on the 6th six, six of December, there's a super action, mega action of uh, Avina and a group of, of NGOs. And we are going to, we are supporting it, that. And well, that's some of the visualizations we are beginning to do. And that's it, thank you. Mm -hmm.